Welcome to another episode of CNC Ninja. I'm your host, Chris. Today, we're going to take a break from the bed project and focus on some CNC router table maintenance. Mainly, we're going to be resurfacing our spoil board. So we're going to be going through the process on the different tools, feeds, and speeds, uh, as well as why you may or may not want to do this on your particular router table. Stay tuned. So what is a CNC spoil board or waste board? Well, on a CNC router, it's a go-between for mounting your workpiece material to the table of your CNC router. We need to be able to cut through the material all the way without damaging the router table itself. So we have to have a sacrificial piece of wood in between that, and that's normally a piece of MDF called the spoil board or waste board. So most spoil boards are made out of MDF material, which is fairly inexpensive for the size, and dimensionally, they're pretty accurate. MDF has some great properties for CNC routers as well, which is that it allows vacuum to pass through it directly. So if your CNC router is equipped with a vacuum pump, it pulls that air through the MDF and it allows it for fixturing so you don't have to use G-Rock screws that affix your workpiece directly to the surface. Now, if your CNC router is not equipped with a vacuum pump, you can just use sheet rock screws and some key points, depending on your CAD design, where you're not cutting through, and actually screw that right into the spoil board directly. So all those slots and screw holes that you put into that spoil board over time add up. And the problem is, is your work pieces sometimes are no longer held securely due to uneven surfaces and or vacuum losses from all those slots and cuts into it. As well as other issues, which it would be moisture and mechanical changes in the machine, which could cause some variability in your Z-axis across the span of the machine. So occasionally we need to do some maintenance, which is called resurfacing that MDF. We definitely want to get the most life that we can out of our investment. Another reason you want to resurface the spoil board is for tramming issues. If the machine changes over time due to temperatures, moisture in the wood, and or it's a new spoil board, you definitely want to do a cut across the whole surface so anytime you lay a piece of work material on that, you know it's flat to the router bit across the entire surface. This is very critical when you use the tab method with screws. If your tabs are only, say, one millimeter thick across the span of the entire router table, that might change by half a mil or even more. The problem is, is then those tabs on the other side of the table will be either too thick to cut easily and or too thin and your workpiece will come loose. So you definitely want a nice flat surface across that. So let's go ahead and talk about the tools that we use for resurfacing. So obviously when you go to resurface your spoil board, you don't want to do it with something small like a quarter inch or a half inch uh, bit, zigzagging back and forth across your bed depending on the size of your router that could take hours, literally. So they make specific tools designed for resurfacing the spoiler board. This particular one is a two inch made by Nittlemax. I got it off of amazon.com and it allows me to have a one inch step over as I go across the surface. Now, uh, normally resurfacing bits, uh, because this is a router which is normally much higher RPM than say a CNC mill which uses a fly cutter, a single tooth uh, spinning, uh, this one needs to be very well balanced. So this particular one has two of them. Uh, you can get up to four depending on your spindle RPM as well as horsepower. Uh, definitely get the right shank and what's appropriate for your spindle because due to the larger size, you don't want to just auger this into the wood. We're just skimming it, taking off like a millimeter off the surface and depending on the depth, you might even want to run it over twice depending on the horsepower of your spindle. So let's get into it. 